technicians, announcers. In all, 300 television people are here to cover the race. But that's not so surprising when you consider this is the most watched touring car race in the whole world, with 350 million viewers. I spoke with Mike Raymond, who has the massive task of organising the TV coverage, and asked him if televising motor racing is different to other sports. Well, it's fairly involved. It's not like a football game or basketball because the circuit here is six and a half kilometres around. That means that we've got to run something like 137 kilometres of cable right around the circuit. Now, it's a little simple of basketball where they're only travelling so far up the court and coming back again. And it's a little different to, uh, say, tennis uh, and golf. I, I guess golf's about the only other sport that compares to it. the race from every conceivable angle, through each twist and turn, cameramen are placed all around the six and a half kilometre track and above it too. But these aren't the only cameras they use here at Bathurst. They also have one specially designed for this sport. To get this sort of incredible shot, a very small camera that was specially designed for Bathurst is used. It's called Race Cam, and eight of them can be found on the circuit in the most unusual places. Next to the driver, under the front headlight, at the rear of the car, and suspended above the pits area. These cameras can really give the viewers at home a different perspective of the race, and a real sense of the amazing speed the cars are travelling at. This might look like a miner's helmet, but this gadget on top isn't a torch, but a tiny camera. And it's going to be worn by one of the members of the pit crew on race day. This is the room where the cameramen sit and control the race cams. He's coming in the pits, forget us. Go to, um... Back to Johnson. Go to Johnson. A signal is beamed from this dish on the top of the car, up to a helicopter, and then onto a receiving station and back to one of the vans on the track. From all of the different shots each cameraman sends, this man, a director, decides in an instant which shot is best to use in the telecast. Engine. They're still getting around in pretty good Oh, goodness me. We've got one on fire. M356. Driver's out. But come race day, what's better? Watching it on the television or actually being a spectator at the track? I think nothing beats being at the racetrack to sample all of the atmosphere and so forth. But if you want to see a race, every aspect of a race, nothing beats.